Coach Gates, it's uh, sort of a, a musical chairs. You've got uh, three teams uh, looking for two spots in the playoffs, and uh, so it's all going to be decided on the field this week. No doubt, and that's the greatest thing about it is we've we've done enough to to uh, you know kind of hold our own destiny in our own hands, and uh, got to go beat a good Caldwell team to get in. And so uh, some other things could happen, you know, that uh, that could get us in, but we're not worried about that. We're focused on winning a football game. That's always the best thing that it's in your hands to go out and win the ball game. No doubt, you know. Then there's no points involved. You know, all that stuff is uh, is already. We're kind of on the short short end of the points thing in a three-way tie with the other two. So, uh, you know, the onus is on us to go over there and win a football game. But we don't have to don't have to scoreboard watch. Don't have to think about winning by this or that. Uh, we got to go win by one point, and uh, you know it's going to be a fun night. And, and if we do that, we're a two seed. Let's talk about uh, the uh, the district as a whole. Before the uh, year started, obviously uh, you guys are disappointed by the way things have gone with the injuries and everything, but how has the district sort of uh, uh, worked its way through and has it uh, been what you thought it would be? No doubt. I think, you know, I, I said pre-district that, you know, any team really could beat anybody. And, uh, you know, with Smithville's junior class, which is strong, I mean, uh, you know, they're coming along. I know they're, they're 0-9, but they're, they, you see who they played and they – they gave us all we wanted here for for a half, you know. So uh, this same Caldwell team had to score with 50 seconds to go to beat them, you know, and then uh, had a lead in the first half last week at Columbus. So all of us can beat anybody at any time, you know. Uh, obviously, Giddings is kind of head and shoulders above everybody right now, but uh, you know, non pre preseason, you t you t you tell me, and then. Uh, with the people we have, if we're healthy, then uh, you know we'd be tough to beat from anybody in the state. Okay, tell us a little bit about the Caldwell Hornets. Very talented. You know they got three of the best uh, players in the district. You know with the Chambers brothers and and uh, you know Devin Morris. You know who's, who's committed to AM. So uh, you know they got three very talented kids. That we got to stop offense uh, defensively, and then uh, you know only only Morris plays defense. You know Dominic plays a little bit, but. Uh, you know, we gotta we gotta find a way to put the ball in the end zone offensively, keep them off the field, and, and uh, when get, when we get a chance on third down, get off the field. What do you know about uh, Caldwell? Have you guys been able to watch uh, some film already? We watched a little film, and they're a good team. We'll give them where it's due. They're a good team. They have good athletes. We just gotta stop them on defense and score on offense. Well, you've been a standout now for a couple of years on defense, and then uh, you've stepped up in the offensive role. What do you like personally uh, better? You like hitting people or getting hit? I like being on defense. Okay. Yeah, defense is so much better to fill the rest of tackling someone for a loss.